Good morning, everyone. Today we're going to go over Mahara pages and collections. As you start to get your practicum ready, I just wanted to go over some different ways you can organize. So let me share my screen. So here, I've logged in and logged into Vincent's profile. When you log into Mahara, this is usually the page that you see. So as you're getting your practicum ready, you wanna click on the three bars in the main menu, down arrow on the portfolio, then click on pages and collections. From here, it loads your entire pages and collections. Here you can add, a page or collection to your portfolio. Look at the pages and collections that you've already have. Or copy. From here, I can tell that in the bottom right of each one of these boxes, if it has a black page with a page number, symbol, it is a collection. Those that don't are just pages. The difference is, in a collection, you can add a series of pages. Here we are. You can tell the third term regional report. I can click on the more button, which is the three dots. I can manage, edit, or delete. And it will edit the text inside the specific collection and only on the collection, not the pages. And manage, if I click there, I can select if I want to add pages by dragging over or highlighting and clicking the Add Pages button, remove pages by clicking on the X, or reorder these pages by using the arrows or dragging as well. Then when I'm done, I can click Done. Now that's about managing collections and the differences of pages in collections, but what if we have already had a collection that we like and we have pages from that collection that we want to put into a separate collection? Well, that's very easy. Here I've created a test collection right here. And I would like to add pages from the third term regional into my test collection. Well, what I would like to do then is to copy some of these pages from the third term, but also copy some of the pages from another collection, say community-based. So then I'll go to the copy button, click on there. Here's the list of pages and the collections that they're assigned to. Here, I want to copy this page from the community base, copy. I like what is edited here, so click save. And then go back to my pages and collections. Now I have that page listed here as the top. I'll go into my test collection, Manage, and add that page. And now it's added. Click Done. Now I have one page, as you can see down here, on my test collection. Next, I would like to add one of the pages here for my third term. I'll go back up to the right and click Copy. Go down and look for the collection. It's not here, so I'll click the next to my second and see third term. Here, I want to get the Watershade Natural Resources page. I'll copy the page, like what I see, and click Save. Then go back to my pages and collections. Here it shows up. I'll go back down to the more, click on manage on my test collections. Here's my page and 
drag it over and add it. Click done. It may take some time to load. Here, now I have two pages on my test collection. I can click on my test collection and notice that the pages show very well. And both are here exactly in that same order. But also, if I go back to pages and collections, and go to a different collection, I notice that I still have the page. This way, in the future, I can go and see a collaboration of my practicum in collections, as well as specific collections that might be more apparent in a different field, a different location, or just a different research in a specific community altogether. This way, I don't have to completely move around pages and create a new collection every single time I have a new idea or a new way I want to pre um, present material. I recommend individuals that are collecting and gathering pages for their practicum to use the copy method as the best method to create an overall collection. I'm going to delete this test collection. I see that case study and watershed were the two pages that were in there. I'm going to delete those as well. But as you can see, since we use the copy method, those pages, those pages still remain intact in my former collections. I'd like to take the time to thank you, Vincent, for letting me use your profile. And if y'all have any questions, please remember to email me. Thank you and have a wonderful day.